Today we're going to show you how to install Torque Engineering's 3-inch lift kit for your Toyota 4Runner. This 3-inch kit is built to fit your 2007 to 2018 model 4Runner. It's made in America, comes with a lifetime manufacturer warranty, and can easily be installed right at home in your own garage. Here's how you do it. Start by securing your vehicle to jack stands or a lift. Remove the front factory installation, starting with the tires and wheels. Using a 17 millimeter wrench, remove the sway bar bolts. Using a 14 millimeter socket, remove the strut nuts to the upper strut tower. Next, remove the brake line bracket from the upper A-arm. With the cotter pin out, remove the upper ball joint from the steering knuckle. Then remove the strut bolt from the lower control arm. Finally, remove the cotter pin from the outer tie rod end of the steering linkage and remove the nut. Using a hammer, separate the tie rod from the knuckle. Carefully remove the strut assembly and begin installation of your new torque kit. Start by installing the torque strut spacer on top of the strut. Secure the spacer to the strut with the included bolt extensions, then use thread locker to ensure a tight and secure fit. With the spacer in place, replace the strut assembly. Reinstall the lower strut bolt, tightening to 61 foot-pounds on the lower strut bolt. Then tighten the upper strut mount using thread locker, making sure to tighten the nuts to 47 foot-pounds. Before reinstalling the rest of the steering assembly, turn your attention to the underside of the vehicle to install the skid plate extensions. Start by removing the plastic cover, then remove the skid plate. Secure the front differential and remove the two front differential bolts with a 19 mm socket. Lower the differential down about an inch and install the torque differential spacers. Using the new torque differential bolts and serrated flange nuts included with the kit, reinstall the differential tightening to 101 foot-pounds. Reinstall the differential skid plate in the front skid plate using the torque extended skid plate 10 mm bolts and spacers that are included with the kit. Tighten both to 20 foot-pounds.
finally reinstall the plastic underplate. Turn your attention now back to the steering assembly. Remove the front bump stop and install the torque bump stop extension. Next, reinstall the upper ball joint into the steering knuckle and replace the cotter pin. Tighten to 118 foot-pounds. Reconnect the tie-end rod to the steering linkage and replace the cotter pin. And finally, reinstall the brake line bracket. Repeat these steps on the opposite side of the vehicle. With the front installation complete, it's time to remove the rear factory installation. Remove the rear tires and using a 12 millimeter socket, remove the bolt holding the brake line bracket to the frame. Then using a 17 millimeter socket, disconnect the sway bar links. Using that same socket, remove the lower shock hardware. Lower the rear axle using a jack stand and remove the factory coil spring. Place the new torque spacer on top of the bump stop and reinstall the spacer, bump stop, and spring. Make sure the coil spring fits into the spring seat correctly. Reattach the sway bar link, brake line bracket, and lower shock bolt, and then repeat these steps on the opposite side. Go ahead and reinstall the tires all around and torque to the appropriate specs. After installation, we recommend taking your vehicle in for a full alignment. And just like that, you've installed your new Torque Engineering's 3-inch lift kit for your Toyota 4Runner.